<laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's been a little minute. Well, six weeks? Six, seven weeks? Not that long, really. Yeah. Took some time offline. I just got to that point where I was like, I just wasn't enjoying being online. I wasn't enjoying my content anymore. I wasn't enjoying. I don't know. I just wasn't wasn't like my usual happy buzzing to like be doing stuff self um so i took a break when i went to dubai with my family i was just like something doesn't feel right <sighs> i don't really know i honestly don't really know and also i've never taken a break ever I've gone for like a few days at a time not being online as in like not posting a story or a post or anything for a while but again the most that normally is is three or four days and I've gone a longer time without posting like sponsored content but I've never actually stopped altogether not used my social media not been online like just fully stopped in about five years so last month was the time that I did that so yeah had a lovely time. Um, I didn't do anything like significant <laughs> apart from <laughs> apart from what we're gonna do today, which is go and take you with me to my new hobby. Never did I think I could even start a new hobby, queen of anxiousness over here, meeting new people, going to a new place, doing a new thing, but I did it. I don't know how I saw it or where I saw it, but one day I googled Brighton Aerial Hoop classes and found a class and it was really affordable like really affordable i think it was 60 quid for five lessons over five weeks which they were an hour each and like i don't know i just thought that was really good um so i signed up paid for it came to the actual day and i was like mm, i don't think i can actually do it and then i was thinking to myself oh it's only 60 quid i can take the loss on 60 quid but i didn't i cycled all the way there did the class and it was the best thing ever and now i've completed my beginners course i've also done like a couple of extra lessons and i'm waiting to start my improvers course so i'm gonna be no longer a beginner but an improver <laughs> which is basically just like a second round of being a beginner <laughs> but today i'm doing a private lesson um just because there's like a four week gap in between the last course ending and the next course starting and i don't want to like get rusty or forget what i'm doing so let's go to an aerial hoop class. It's the coolest fucking thing I've ever done in my life. Ever. It's so difficult, I don't know if you can see, but oh, look at that. Mm. Um, it destroys your hands, like destroys your hands. I'm covered in bruises every week, like covered, like massive, huge bruises all over my elbows, over my shoulders, at the backs of my knees, my inner thighs. But it's so fucking cool because when you get up there and you like start spinning best feeling anyway stop chatting we'll quickly show you my outfit this is a little gym shark number and weirdly they are like three quarter length sort of pedal pushers which whoa <laughs> which feels very sort of 90s i remember wearing pedal pushers when i was like 10 11 um but just cute cute little nice high-waisted outfit i've also got the t-shirt as well <laughs> it's really hot today we're about to have a heat wave um well we sort of are having a heat wave but you have um you can't wear shorts because of all the like friction on your legs and like this bits of your legs you like shorts are not a good idea unless you're a professional and you know what you're doing not an improver like myself <laughs> let's go hoop bring a ping pong break um, any sort of normal <clears throat> how's your week then you're busy you're in the morning it's just working out and just back just get so lost in Beautiful. Little challenge for you then. 
Take our hands together at the top, right together. And then we're going to choose which one's our strongest hand. And the other hand, we're going to take one finger off at a time. A little challenge for you. Hands is going to hurt hands. Okay. That's it. The secret is one finger at a time. Okay? You transfer the weight. That's it. Slow. Good. Good. Yes. Yeah.
gorgeous. Up, nice. Beautiful. Okay, so, so we're gonna straddle, yeah, hops, reach, reach, journey, keep the leg up, yeah. stacks it into our gazelle. Now, once we're here, we climb back up, yeah, hands go up to the top, legs snap straight together. So we're going to do what I call a single leg push up. So we're going to lift our feet, we're going to slide the bar to the back of our knees. Mm -hmm. We're going to take one foot on the bar okay. and we're going to push all the way along until our feet meet. And then we're going to release and then we're going to split. Then all we do is we bend the front leg and we pop the leg in and we back into our birdie cradle Ooh, roll <laughs> and that's going to be our combo jump and push and hops good there we go nice Arch the back. 
My hands are in bits, I'll show you when I get home. But I'm just gonna get myself a nice lunch on my walk back. You're on your left, what are you doing more hanging off the left? Sorry, it's a bit dark up here because the blinds are shut because the heat wave is here. Well, technically it's here tomorrow, the day after and the day after, but it's still fucking hot. So, because we're up, well, our bedroom is up in the roof. When the sun is on this side of the house, we shut these blinds. And then when it moves over, we open these and shut those. So it's a bit dark. No one asked for that story. Um, I'm back. My hands. Oh, they are so much. And they will hurt all day. Shit. I am going to open it because I want to show you something. But, oh, that was a really good session. I've never done a one-on-one one -on -one before. And honestly, I thought my normal weekly classes in a group were a lot. That was <laughs> so hard. I don't know if you could tell. I'm sure I'll be able to tell when I come to edit this. That by the end, I was struggling with most of those moves. Because, yeah, I, I got a lot of the moves at the beginning of the class and then stopped getting them by the end, which just means I was so tired. <sighs> Hello, creepy creeper. <laughs> what are you doing? Just getting my massage things. Okay. Keep going. You don't have to be quiet. Shh. <laughs> you don't have to be quiet, but you do have to be fast. <laughs> he's getting his massage legs he's gotten into the most annoying habit he has these big inflatable leg machine things that massage and like stimulate blood flow in his legs and he wears them at night so I'm lying in bed either sleeping or reading my book and he's there and this machine it just goes Brrr, but it goes on 20 minute cycles and it's so fucking loud anyway that's what he was getting Again, no one asked for that story. I really hope you enjoyed seeing some of my newfound skills. Skills is maybe pushing it a little bit, I don't know. But before I go, as I haven't vlogged in so long, something arrived yesterday in the post and I knew I was gonna vlog this today and I was gonna open it all and I was like, do you know what? It would be really nice to get back in the swing and show you this. I treated myself to some underwear i haven't bought myself new underwear in a long long time because let's be honest i don't really need to buy myself much underwear when i work with people like lounge and it's kind of the only people i work with at the minute lounge anyway i get enough underwear to last a lifetime but i just saw this online and I just thought, you know, I really, I really want a treat. I really fancy a beautiful, beautiful set. And this was just so gorgeous. So, for Love and Lemons. I think it might, was it in the sale? Or well, if it was in the sale, it was still fucking expensive. But I ordered this set for no reason. It's not to take content in. It's not to, it's not for anything sponsored, obviously. It's, it's just for me to enjoy. So I thought I'd try it on with you and then I can decide if I'm going to keep it. Okay, two seconds and I'm going to put this on. <sighs> this, let me find some good light to show you this. I've kept my uh, thong on just to try it on to see if I was going to keep it. But I'm obviously going to keep it. So this is actually separate. Like this is a... They call it like a bustier kind of thing. I don't know if you can tell. But it's two things. Like that's the bra. And then this is the corsety thing. 
but just look at the details of it. Yeah, she's staying, she is mine. I'm gonna try and show you it without this bit on. I don't know if you're actually meant to wear them together they sort of sit on each other a bit weird but she is absolutely beautiful and she's staying yay and then this is what this looks like it's literally just like an underbust thing and obviously i've just tried it without the bra i get that a lot of people wouldn't want their just like boobs out even if it's an underwear set but because that i mean it's not much but that kind of like hooks up under your boobs and does give them a little bit sorry that's our that's our neighbour. <laughs> um, it gives them a little bit of like oomph, which I personally think is very fucking sexy. Right. That is the end of this vlog. I think I'm going to do vlogs like this from now on rather than like film tiny bits over like five, six, seven days and mush them together to something that doesn't make much sense. I'm just going to like show you the cool things that I do and like just kind of stick to doing it in that style right i love you so much i love you so 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 much um and i'll see you really soon